this video you will see how to run an AI LLM model using ONNX framework locally in your Android app. So the steps will be first we'll generate a quantized ONX model uh, for the LLM model whatever we want to use. So in this example we'll use digital bird uh, based uh, uncached model and this will use uh, in Python and after that we'll validate the model if required if or if it's optional and then we can We'll need to get the vocab file for that so vocab.txt file and then we can create the uh, environment so let's begin so first i'll show you the code so this is the code which i used to create my uh, on in on in next file so in this python script what it does is it just first takes the model uh, whatever model we want to use so in this case this is i think only the encoder so decoder we'll have to do on our own which i'll show you in the android how, how we'll do it and then it will first create uh, okay these are the sample uh, dummy text dummy inputs it doesn't matter and once first it will create a onyx file of this particular uh, model and then we will quantize it quantize this means basically we will reduce the size because it's going to run on a very limited resource on our android device so usually it will float uh, 64 whatever but we will change it to q q u int 8 which is unset int okay so if i show you quickly the files so it will create these two files one is this on on the next file and this is the uh, another one which is like you can see the size is less consider significantly size reduces okay you can we can validate this also as the second step mentioned right you can validate the on its on the next file in our python itself uh, this won't take much time so i can run this probably here and let's see what the output we get uh, sometimes it may also take a bit of time so it's giving an error when we run it because it requires this tokenized output.json file this find nothing but whatever input so for example we have to test we can directly give it in a text form but at the end we have to tokenize it so there is a separate code for it but uh, what i'll do is i'll just for sake of this uh, simplicity i'll just create this file this file is nothing but a kind of tokens of different numbers from the what okay okay and then i will uh, try to run it in this uh, no let me see if work no yeah so there is some output which looks good looks good so that means our model is correct no, as step number first and second is done so and no i'll show you uh, like yeah so that's what i say like to create a token json file what we are just going to use you need to know have the vocab file right so you, this is the vocab.txt what i'm using so if you open so it will be something like this kind of text file and you can just uh, right click and do a save as in your local and then you can use this in your coding okay now let me jump to the fourth part which is the basically the development of the android app okay so over here i have already developed this and uh, even i am running it to be honest so i gave some prompt once upon a time uh there was a girl i don't know if it's visible and then it returns something although it doesn't make sense because it's a very very simplified model and uh, the vocab is also not very accurate but i wanted to show you at least how it is possible so let me just take you to the steps so the steps are pretty much simple and straightforward so the quantized model on an on the next file will just load it here in the assets folder and vocab.txt also what i just know sure we'll just download this file uh, right click and you can do a save it and then uh, get it over here okay if ss folder is not this then what you can do is you can just probably uh, what you can do is you can just right click on this app and then over here you can go to folder and click on this ss folder and it will create a uh, ss folder okay so for me it's already created so yeah once it's created you have to just copy paste here or here nothing else Okay, apart from that, you will uh, main activity.java will only be created and you will need probably a couple of other classes. So, first I will show you the main activity. Okay, so in main activity.java, we are doing nothing much, but uh, we are just having this method one method for the button click on click. And over here, first we are initializing the model runner, which is basically the second class. That's the important one. And we are getting the input from the prompt like edit text. And then once we have that, then we are forming the uh, we are sending that to the uh, inference, run inference, which is a method in this model runner, which is in this, which is the most important uh, method. Okay, so I'll show you shortly. And based on whatever output comes, it will just display it over here. So as simple as that, it's doing nothing more and uh, complicated. Okay. So everything is happening in this model runner. Basically, this which is this particular class, the O and, o and, and X model runner class. So let me just quickly show you what in this class it does. In this class, it's basically okay. I can remove some of this unused imports to make it short and simpler yeah so in this class basically first in that constructor uh, uh, what it's doing is it's basically uh, just creating the uh, 
environment variables this uh, or not uh, envi environment variables which is the environment and using this environment over the environment it creates a session and while creating this it loads the model uh, whichever model or the o and nx file uh, basically the framework uh, file it loads over here and once the model is loaded uh, then it uses this session to do our all the computing so loading of model is a bit complicated because directly you can't load from assets so what it does is first copy this assets to some internal storage uh, using this uh, byte form and then it once that's done then it copies it from over there to a model path and from there we can get it in the session so this works more or less fairly good and then comes the main method which is run inference so this is the main method which is a part of which is the main thing which this particular class does run inference so in run inference what it does is it takes the input text whatever we are giving from over here uh, from the main activity in the run inference method over in input text and if i go back and then based on the input it will generate the uh, some output so first it does some checks whether the session is null or not uh, of course if there's a session there's no session created for this on on MS file or LLL model no need to continue and if it's not null then it continues and gets the uh, first it gets the tokenizer and based on the token, uh, no, so this also we have to understand. So how it uh, tokenized is it based on that vocab.txt file, and for that we have written another class tokenizer. Uh, get this class. So in this class also it's pretty much uh, straightforward. So it first loads the vocab. We basically loading that vocab.txt file from the uh, SS directory, and once that is there, uh, it's loaded to the input stream. And once that's there, then it does two jobs basically. One is tokenize, basically converting input to token IDs and decode, which is basically reverse of that. It's decode uh, back. Okay, so for tokenizing, what it will do is it will just take the input text, whatever we have uh, entered, and then based on that, the input words, it will convert them into the respective input IDs one by one by checking into the token to ID uh, map. Okay, so token to ID map is over here. Uh, created with which is basically the the respective string and the index in that particular uh, in this particular vocab.txt file okay so based on that it will create a list of input ids so that's one example which i showed in the uh, python right so it will create something of this kind of uh, input uh, input ids and then that input ids it will send back over here in the tokenizer as a input text uh, input id over here once you tokenize it and if this input IDs are something what is required to uh, learn, learn it and get the results over here. So this input IDs are converted into input, something called input tensors. So let me minimize this left hand side. And then once this input tensor is there, the respective input maps are created, which is passed into the session, which is basically session nothing but the, uh, the learning of O and NX model in the packet. So it takes the input map as the uh, input and then based on that, it gets the results. Okay. So in results, then we just uh, scan through the results. Uh, first, of course, we do some checks whether it's present or not, and if it's there, then we will send that uh, results uh, uh, or, or uh, this output tensor to the decode output method. And in decode output method, it will, what it will, it will do is it will get that as an input and uh, the tokenizer, whatever we created earlier in the method, the tokenizer class, the object it will send. And then here, one by one, it will run through. Okay, so this is a uh, three dimensions float array. So it will first get uh, each. So for each word, there is a two-dimensional uh, array. So we'll run it in a sequence where it will extract the sequence one by one for each of these uh, three-dimensional array into two-dimensional array. And in this two-dimensional array, uh, why it is two-dimensional? Because one dimension is like for the to get the probability of the of the uh, max value which appears in that. Okay. And based on that max value, it gets the max index. And uh, uh, based on that max index, it will then scroll or uh, again uh, iterate through the complete the uh, 1D uh, array and get that value, the max value, which it will then pass it in the form of the index to the decode method in the tokenizer. In the tokenizer, tokenizer decode, as I showed earlier, let me just do control B here. It will take that and then again it will use this map what it created initially from the vocab uh, file to get the respective word back from the id whatever the id it's there in this particular thing and based on that whatever word it comes it will just append to the string builder which is uh, converted into two string again and returned to the main activity method back over here so based on whatever is written over here it will just print it on the text view that's what we are seeing over here 
So that's all. Uh, I'll just run probably another thing. So OEM about cloud. Let's see what it returns now. So don't expect uh, some fancy output here. That was like this model is highly literal. I don't know what it's trying to do. And you also have to set other parameters like max return, minimum return of the words, and all those things. Still, I have not set, but. This is a very very low form where you can create your own or on Linux model framework and run it in the Android. Try to use useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comments below. Thank you and have a nice day.